Ronaldo Sagu. If you guys don't know who this is, let me introduce him for you. He's the Hezzy killer. Why? Because Ronaldo Sagu has the best Hezzy in the game of basketball. He has done it on all levels, so if you say it's a carry, go kick some rocks. He's done the Hezzy in high school, college, and now professionally. I've been watching Ronaldo Sagu when he was doing the Home Team Hoops documentaries with Nasir Little in OCP in Florida. Let's wake up, Ryan. Anyways, man's is literally freezing people with that Hezzy. If you're new to this channel, I like breaking things down and explaining things in basketball. These are all my personal opinions. I'll get into my basketball background later, but if you have something to say or if you want me to break down something, let me know down below. So Ronaldo or Mr. Six Foot Killer. There's numerous things he does when he does a Hezzy. Also, he has different types of Hezzies. He has a slow hezzy, one where he's waiting for you to bite, or if you do nothing, he pulls that jumper. More specifically, the sidestep in the mid-range. Also, Ronaldo can shoot, especially in the mid-range area. That's what makes it a great part of this move. So I pulled his pro stats up, or he's currently playing in right now. It's a league in Serbia. He plays for this team called Barak. If you notice, he doesn't shoot a lot of threes compared to his two-point field goals. Also, his percentage is a lot higher than his three-point percentage. Literally, he's shooting 50.5% inside the arc. I couldn't find the shot chart of his mid-range, so I watched his film, and he mostly does mid-range and at times he lays the ball up, but we're gonna assume the majority is mid-range shots. Other than that, he shoots 27% from three. So moving on, Ronaldo also has a fast Hezzy. He has it just to make you jump a little bit, then he'll blow by you. Your Hezzy doesn't have to be crazy fast or crazy slow at the time. All you need is a reaction from your defender. It's sort of like he's twitching when Ronaldo does it. When he does the Hezzy, he's great at popping up his torso and shifting to his side, which allows him to do that sidestep move. He's basically setting up the sidestep move off the Hezzy too. By doing this, it makes him look like he's actually gonna shoot it. The thing he does really well is how he uses the space that the defender is shadowing him in. Remember how I said he likes to do a sidestep literally like two seconds ago? This is where he does it. If you give him that pocket of space, he'll just do his sidestep into his jumper. The reason being, he knows the shooting pockets and understands the space that's given to him. Another thing, when he actually does the Hezzy, he puts his hand behind the ball, not under. But because it's behind the ball, and this is why everyone says it's a carry, which it's not a carry because the live ball isn't dead yet, and his hand isn't under the ball. Of course, there are times where maybe he does carry, but because he does this so quickly, no one's gonna notice. Just an FYI, you could actually carry in basketball. It's just the way you manipulate the game or you manipulate your dribble. I'll make a video about it later because I feel like everyone should manipulate the game because it's honestly really helpful just to add that to your game. Going on, every time he does a hezzy, notice his feet and the angle of where he's attacking. If he's doing the sidestep, his feet are already in his shooting stance once he hits the ground. Then if he's going to blow by, his feet or his stance, it's wider because it will give him a better angle and enough to where he could either accelerate out or he could go up for his mid-range pull-up. He likes to do this one dribble pull-up off the Hezzy. 